Um, so I'm Woods. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that yet. <laughs> I don't have street cred to do that. My name's Josh. <laughs> My name is Matt and I'm the director plus a few other things on the Woods music video for Complacency. Complacency is a really internal look at pain. It's a really internal look at um, a bad place that I've been in my own head. And I guess that we sort of tried to capture that internal pain a lot in the music video by representing two versions of me. It still could have been me. No more than three weeks apart. This project was a long time coming. It started with a conversation with Josh, which basically entailed him telling me he had this idea for a music video where Gavin, our friend, would pop out of the woods as Josh went to go sing the chorus, knock him over and sing it really stupidly. And that was literally the foundation for what started uh, our talks with the, uh, about the music video and getting it all, it all sorted. I'm Gavin. I was the derelict homeless version of Woods in the music video. Uh, I believe that's what I was. There wasn't much direction when it came to my character. I just know that I had to beat the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah, sweet. That's just let me hit you in the fucking stomach, man. Um, it was it was absolutely fun. I did have a ball, a quick three day shoot, two for me. Um, you know what? I've never been on a on a music video before, so it was it was kind of fascinating to watch Matt and Josh kind of work. They they had an idea that they went and kind of made bigger, and I you know threw my two cents in here and there. But, you know, there was a scene that we cut out where there was supposed to be, you know, me wolverining out of a spa that we, the spa was too small, so we had to adapt. And it was good to see how quick all three of us can be on our feet, to be honest. Um, same with the mushrooms, you know, bringing the mushrooms back. Um, I, don't, I don't get the whole mushroom thing, but yeah. I think it's just as simple there's as the fact no... that there's a mushroom and then there's more mushrooms. We were meant to throw dinner, um, except uh, Matt and I ate the dinner. So <laughs> we had no dinner to throw, but we did forget to cook the mushrooms. And so we were like, well, we've got these, let's roll with that. Um, and you know, I guess it's a bit of a, you know, humorous takeaway for the film as well. Rather than you being confused and then scared, yeah. I think at this point, when we see Gab, the audience has already recognized we're scared. Yeah. So I think you should already be at the stage where, oh, and moving back. We smashed about six mushrooms. Um, and we were running out and didn't have any backups, but I think we did pretty well. I sort of was able to piece them together and, and get them to hold their shape on the plate long enough to get the shot, so. Overall, I think the most important uh, moment was when we kind of went out on day one for a bit of a location scout. Go for it. So we got some test footage, we headed back home, we put it in the computer and, and we basically put together a bit of a rough cut. And even though it was far from the final music video, it just gave us that first glimpse of what the final project was gonna be. And that was a really important moment in time because it just, it gave us that motivation and that inspiration to keep working on it for the next few days. <laughs> oh shit, I just, this is not all, muted yes. or like synced up properly, but that's all right. That, yeah. For me, the thing I'm most proud of with this music video is just the journey that we went on with it. it to have, something start as a, as a single shot, an idea at the beginning to actually creating a final music video was really exciting and it was such a great process. I think most importantly is the people you choose to work with. And to be honest, Josh and Gav have been nothing but awesome uh, along this whole process. How are you feeling, brother? Pretty good. Yeah? I feel like we're getting this right. I feel like we're doing pretty good yeah. as well. Cue. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Feeling I mean, good. This is, this is great. I'm actually really happy with yeah, the Yeah, I'm happy we moved over to this camera. <laughs> All right. Look great. Every day we were filming, it was just such a pleasure to be working with them and, and getting this stuff done uh, with them didn't really feel like a task. It just felt like we were going to get it done and everyone was on the same page. And having a smaller crew really, I, I think, helps out in that regard because you are managing less and you just have to focus more on, on what, you, what you can do. I'm really happy with how it went, to be honest. And it's got some really good reception. It's got a lot of plays. Um, I think it sort of, it shows off a poppier side of me as well, which is a good thing, because um, it can reach a lot more of an audience. I just put out my new album. It's called Everything Is Dead In Winter, Including Me. And that came out on uh, June 20th. And it's probably my proudest sort of work to date. You can listen to that sort of on streaming services and all that jazz. You download it illegally if you want to, I don't give a fuck.
Um, so I walked into the set on day two, I believe. It was quite late at night. Um, I think I'd just finished work and I rocked up at about 9.30ish. Uh, the smell of pizza was in the air. There was a beautiful fire that was lit. Um, and I've walked into a very small cabin um, where Matt and Josh were just wrestling naked. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. 